looked a little feet. All the parents who lost their child. I don't know how to respond. Now, how is it possible? Hello, I'm Patrick Brown. I'm from Australia. I'm represented by Panos Pictures. I was always the kid on holidays with the, with the camera. And, and it wasn't until my mid-twenties that I realized I wanted to do this for a living. or do it, follow my life. And that's how I became it. It, was, it became my life. I always disliked the bully at school. And some unknown reason that has followed me through in my career. And I photo photograph or focus my subject matter on the underdog to some degree. The one with the least voice. I want to know what the guy, the photographer who makes this picture, what he, what he felt at the moment he made this. It was early evening. I got a phone call from a colleague telling me that a, a boat full of Rohingyas, refugees, had capsized. All I could think of was if, if you're going to take on the Bay of Bengal in the monsoon season, then what you're running from must be truly horrific. But how the image came about was a very, a very slow, gradual process of just the very respectful of the situation. Sad is not even the right word. Around 100 people were on that boat before it capsized. There were 17 survivors. These are a preventable death. These children didn't need to die. And they died literally in sight. They would have been able to see the lights of the coast road. They thought they were safe. In the last 200 meters, 15 people drowned. The world needs to know about that. It's good they make this picture so everybody can see all over the world what happened. The democracy that the West, the European Union and America and has supported wasn't necessarily the democracy that we were expecting. We as a society should re-examine who we support. <laughs>